Authorize.net Payment Gateway extension allows you to accept credit cards directly on your website through the Authorize.net account. In this video, I will show you the entire installation and setup process of the Authorize.net Payment Gateway add-on. Please note that Authorize.net Payment Gateway requires the WP Travel Engine plugin installed. Let's get started. First, you need to log in to your WordPress admin dashboard. Navigate to Plugins and click on Add New. Click on Upload Plugin. Click on Choose File. Select the zip file that you downloaded. Click on Open and click on Install Now. Click on Activate Plugin. The Authorize.Payment Gateway add-on has now been successfully installed and activated. Next up, go to WP Travel Engine and click on Plugin License. Enter the license key that you received during the download of the add-on. Click on Save Changes. The license key has now been activated. The main idea behind activating the add-on license is to receive regular updates from our team. Now, I will show you how to configure the Authorize.net Payment Gateway. Again, from under WP Travel Engine, go to Settings. Go to Payments, select Authorize.net Payment. Here, you are required to add an Authorize.net API login ID and an Authorize.net transaction key. I have already added the login ID as well as the transaction key for Authorize.net. Now, after adding in the required requirements, you have to click on Save and Continue. Now go to Payment General Settings. From under Payment Gateways, make sure that you have selected Authorize.net. If you wish to make Authorize.net the default payment gateway, then you can do that from here. Now click on Save and Continue. Now let's go to our site in the front end. Now when a visitor tries to book a trip, let's try to book this trip as a visitor. Click on continue and after adding the quantity, click on proceed to checkout. After filling in the checkout details, the visitor can easily select the Authorize.net payment method. They simply have to select the Authorize.net payment method. So let me fill up the details so that I can show you the difference. Now when a visitor clicks on the pay button, they will be able to make the payment via Authorize.net payment gateway very easily. If you have any questions or confusions, please do let me know in the comment section below or you can directly reach out to our support team. I have added the link to creating support ticket in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next video.